Hello, my name is Tommy Long. Uh, I'm working as a professional artist for 10 years and uh, currently teaching for 15 years. Uh, I've designed out a wee course here which I want to take you through. It's short and uh, it's just basically an introduction to oil painting. And I've just broke it down under the simplest uh, possible way that I could. I broke it down. Um, I've got a list of materials here which I'll go through. And uh, the course basically consists of, I would say there would be seven fundamentals to painting. And uh, what I'm going to do is break down the big three, which what I would consider the big three that if you can get right, then you, you're going to be, uh, you're definitely going to have a successful painting. So the big three are shape, basically breaking even the most complex of objects, faces, landscapes, still lifes, whatever, anything that you're uh, looking at, breaking it down on the geometrical shapes, you'll sort of notice that uh, most of the time that uh, even a, a really complex ship uh, can be broken down into maybe two of these geometrical ships stuck together or three but uh, things when you look at the details you're actually looking backwards so uh, actually it, it, a good analogy to that would be uh, like when you're going to bake a cake you don't start with the icing first you need to build the cake up and this is the same thing uh, for anything, a landscape, uh, I'm going to show you and take you through how to uh, construct the landscape from ships first and then work up to the detail gradually rather than the opposite way which uh, seems to get people in a lot of trouble and uh, because their painting won't have a structure that the details seem to sit on, that strong st st structure not being there is uh, usually what's wrong with the painting from the start. So ships We'll go through in the first lesson and uh, hopefully that'll be useful. The, uh, the second here of the big three is colour. Now, as you well know, you walk on the Eastons, there's, you know, hundreds of different tubes of paint. Uh, they do sets, sets of 15, sets of 12. I mean, even if you apply uh, to the, you, you apply to the local tech or anything or, or for a course, they're, they're, they're actually going to give you you know, maybe 12, between 12 and 15 different colours. This is not what you want to be starting with. Uh, destroys harmony. You have colours that are on that uh, list, such as ivory black, um, Viridian green, all these colours, which, to be honest, you can mix yourself. You know, you, I'm going to show you how to mix your own blacks. And, uh, and because you're mixing everything yourself, uh, everything will be harmonious. So all that we be working with with the color, it's a system called the Michael Wolcock system. It's amazing. Uh, changed my artistic career forever. To be honest, learning this, and uh, I'm going to give you an introduction to it. And it's something that I feel that if you followed up on, uh, you would get a lot of benefit out of. So Michael Wolcock's, uh, you go into an art shop. There's fifty reds. You only need two reds. You need a purple red and an orange red. There is only two reds. There's uh, orange reds and purple reds, nothing else. So there might be 25 orange and 25 purple reds, but there's only two, that's it. So the same, if you see 100 yellows, there's only two types of yellow and you just need the two. There's green yellow and there's orange yellow. Uh, same with blues, no matter how many blues you see, there's only two blues. There's purple blues and green blues, and once you have one of each, uh, you're flying it, you're ready to start. There's one more colour here, uh, it's like a brownish colour, it's actually a dull orange, called burnt sienna, and I'll explain about that when we get under the colour. Uh, basically, this is the key to mixing your blacks, you mix it with your dark blue, and you can get your black, so uh, you can get cold blacks if you add more blue and you can get warm blacks if you add more of the, the brownish burnt sienna colour. Uh, so seven tubes of paint, you get to mix everything you can see with them seven tubes of paint, so you can't get better than that. Uh, on the value, now value is a tricky one and uh, to be honest it's one I've struggled with for a long time and uh, that's why I think it's really important to simplify it. It's basically how light and dark things are and uh, uh, you can get, when you look at an object, it's going to uh, have hundreds of different shades, 
uh, of tones and you want to be able to break that down again and simplify it so you can get your arms around what you're seeing and not just paint every single tone and end up with something that just seems to have no depth uh, it doesn't seem to have a structure uh, and uh, this idea of only using a limited amount of tones adds infinite stress to your paintings and probably the most important because color is no good to you if you can't master your values so we'll go on to that as well uh, like everything when I uh, go through these there's a lot more uh, to them which the only education like I'll repeat again it, uh, I'll always repeat this the only education is self-education so if I've mentioned something go on delve on and find out more about it from other resources this is just an introduction to this but it'll be very useful and I'll try and break it down as best as I can um, so last of materials here really quickly uh, paints like I say here seven tubes artdiscount.com uh, the names of the tubes will provide uh, for you. Uh, I'll provide it an a wee list for you. Uh, the, the, the names are basically uh, Cadmium Red, Crimson Red, Lemon Yellow, Cadmium Yellow, uh, Ultramarine Blue, Cerulean or Cobalt Blue. That's another green blue which is really useful. Uh, Burnt Sienna and White. Now these paints, like I say, artdiscount.com, you're getting them for half price rather than going to a shop. They're £6.80 each. They'd usually be around £12 for 200 mil. So, paints, that's your paints there. Uh, you don't need all the paints. Like, if you only have a few paints lying about, you know, by all means, watch the colour and you'll still learn a lot. And you can actually improvise with, with the paints that you do have. I don't want anyone spending a fortune now to get started. Uh, brushes, an assortment of brushes, just as long as they're oil brushes, they're completely fine. I like the, they have some big brushes, middle brushes, wee brushes, smaller brushes. Just five or six will be perfect to start. Medium, uh, liquid. Um, this is just basically to dilute the paint. You add a wee tiny bit of liquid and it will make the paint go further. So uh, the paint comes out of the tube, it might be a bit stuff. With the liquid, it will flow a lot better for you it'll, it'll you'll get three times as much flow uh, as you will if it just comes out of the tube uh, like one is what I use it's a quick dry medium uh, you get all sorts of mediums uh, if you don't have access to mediums you can go on the uh, if you have any linseed oil even from a hardware store line about you can use that and if you're really really stuck baby oil does the job I've used it before and although it takes a while to dry it still works fine and I've used it before so baby oil we now a wee tiny bit of it because if you use too much of it it'll almost waterlog the paint the paint will be slidey you're not able to do anything with the oil so it's small amounts of this stuff just to help the paint they flow so uh, on to the next one palette um, I use a glass palette here but to be honest you can use anything you can use uh, uh, you can use I've used laminated floorboards the key being that it's laminated that it's actually uh, been sealed you don't want to use paper because the oils will seep under the paper uh, you're going for something that is plasticky lamin lamin uh, laminated like you can go for plastic plates you can go for you can even get tin foil if you're stuck wrap it around something and use the tin foil and then discard the tin foil then um, canvas um, let's see well, you get canvases everywhere now they're so cheap it's unbelievable how cheap canvases are and uh, to be honest uh, you go to any shop now you go to home bargains they're a pound uh, the range we wee bit dear but still anywhere that you go you'll get these canvases one thing I will say about the canvases straight away is when you get them, this is of paramount importance, prime them. Uh, get a few coats of household paint, emulsion, get two coats on, white paint, get it on. What I use is acrylic primer. Now you can get acrylic primer in big tons uh, with last years. So you get one ton of acrylic primer 
but again any white household paint will do as long as it dries pretty quick and what this does is it gives your canvas uh, it gives your canvas the, the, the surface of like a whiteboard so when you make a mark on your painting you don't like it you take it out now if you bought this out of the shop on prime you would make your mark and then you didn't like your mark you try to rub it out it sticks it's on it's distracting with this whiteboard like finish it's so easy you just take it off as quick as you put it on and it takes the pressure off so it's something like this where you get a mark on your canvas with pen and you can literally rub it out with your finger once you've got a prime so that's the canvas uh palette knives palette knives are great uh these palette knives again they're not essential but i think they're great for mixing you uh you mix your paints once you've mixed the paint clean it with the kitchen roll left another different tone of paint mix that clean it with the kitchen roll if you're mixing with your brush then the brush can be a bit annoying as in you keep on having to constantly clean it all the time the knife saves that plus you can paint with the knife you can get loads of thick and pasto paint on with the knife you might even need a brush you can go right on with the knife when you get used to the painting uh, white spirits self-explanatory just cleans the brushes what I like to do is put a white spirits and a jar that's the next one jars and uh, you can clean the brushes as you go clean the brush uh, wipe it with a rag right under the paint again uh, when you're cleaning up at the end you probably want to clean with the white spirits then another jar with fairy liquid and clean with that and clean it on on the on your hand until the paint actually runs off it and it's completely clean you'll find when you're working with quick dry mediums that you need to clean the, the brushes very very well and don't leave them lying about or they're ruined so straight down to here rags this rag is as important as your brush at the start. You're using it as uh, you'll make a mark with the brush. You'll take it off with the rag. This is like an eraser, and um, plus it's good for rubbing out highlights and everything like that when you're doing the underpinning, which will be the next lesson. Uh, kitchen roll again, really useful, uh, just for wiping stuff. And bibby wipes. Bibby wipes are amazing for at the end when you need to clean up very very fast and effective to clean up. So that's basically it. It might seem like a lot. But just try and get the most of it. Another thing is, is an easel. Now, an easel like this here, twenty pound in the range. You get ones for a tenner. Um, they're not essential, you know. Uh, you could lean it up against something. You could work on it flat if you really want to. Uh, what I will say is, have a look at this. Get what you can to start, and just go for it. And th and that's it. Uh, the next couple of lessons, they're only about fifteen minutes each, and I try my best. They get really under the concepts and simply. Uh, so that's basically it. And I hope that's been useful. The, the idea is that you learn these fundamentals and then you are able to paint anything. This is abstract painting everything. Learn the fundamentals. These are three fundamentals. There's other fundamentals, which I'll be mentioning as we go, like edges, like uh, texture, uh, composition stuff like this here which will come in but these big three are the ones they master at the start so i hope that's been useful and i hope you enjoy the course and like i say it's just quick fire uh and i'll be doing a wee painting through it just a wee quick sketch but it's important that you uh you, you just go for it and have fun that's more important than anything so i hope it's helpful and i hope you enjoy it